For years, Japan has been the indisputable leader in robotics. If Tanzania's Olduvai Gorge is the cradle of humanity, Japan is the cradle of the humanoids, developing the first humanoid robot in the 1970s and many iterations since. Today, we look at how far they've come. The Tough Road Japanese roboticists pioneered the notion that artificial intelligence should be embodied. While the West focused more on algorithms in the abstract, Japanese institutions believed that AI innovation should be developed alongside, or rather within, a physical artificial body. Japanese roboticists have been leading the way in realizing the aspiration to create robots that offer companionship to humans for decades. In addition to robots that nurse and befriend the elderly and sick, the Japanese have invented robots that can fight fires, carry heavy loads, and perform physical therapy on patients. And of course, the market for physical partners as robots in Japan is also one of the most developed in the world. In their most advanced iterations, many of the robots being developed are learning to perform several functions rather than one. It is noteworthy that the Japanese feel more comfortable with embracing robots as part of one's family than Westerners. Why is this the case? One explanation lies in Japan's religious groundings. Unlike the Judeo-Christian tradition, the Shinto religion, or way of life, comes with animist beliefs, ascribing spirit and personality to inanimate objects. A physical artificial body. As anthropologist Jennifer Robertson, a leading scholar on Japanese culture and its progressive relationship to automation explains, Shinto, the native animistic beliefs about life and death, holds that vital energies, deities, forces or essences called kami are present in both organic and inorganic matter and in naturally occurring and manufactured entities alike. Whether in trees, animals, mountains or robots, these kami forces can be mobilized. A tree, a robot, a dog, a phone, a cat, a computer and a doll all have kami infused and circulating within them. Shintoists believe that there is a true essence of any object or living being, and we can find it through design. Humans shape nature. Think of a bonsai tree, and nature is everything, not just animals, plants, rocks, and seas, but also machines and other human-made objects. In this realm of belief, robots, like humans, live and exist as part of the natural world. The lines between artificial and natural are thus inherently fluid in Japanese tradition. This is evident in Japanese folklore filled with stories of objects that come to life. Great Suspicion The Japanese believe that Westerners view robots with great suspicion, as job eliminators or dehumanizing machines. If, in Western pop culture, the image of the Terminator robot is pervasive, then in Japan the image is of a robot as savior. After the destruction of World War II, recovery and rebuilding the nation were heavily tied to modern technology and robotics. In post-war Japan, Robots came to be depicted as human-like, kind, friendly superheroes. The robot savior became embedded in the culture and began with the hero prototype Astro Boy. Astro Boy was created in 1951 when Japan was recovering from the war's nuclear tragedy. His creator was Osamu Tezuka, a physician and illustrator. Tezuka said he wanted to create a creature that was the opposite of Pinocchio, a boy who becomes a thing as opposed to a thing that becomes a real boy. The mindset that machines are caring and giving continues to this day in Japan. No doubt any sweeping generalization about cultural differences will be just that, a sweeping generalization. But there has certainly been a longer focus in Japan on a robot revolution and the growth of AI in all dimensions of life, while American AI has focused first on military and marketing purposes. One Japanese robotics professor describes his dream of assigning robots to babies at the time of birth. The assigned robot will grow and walk with the person throughout their life, acting as a caretaker, a friend, a bodyguard, and a historian. The robot will record and memorize everything that the person experiences and will continue to care for them literally from cradle to grave. They would be lifelong companions. But could humanoid female robots developed in Japan possibly be programmed? to get pregnant? Will a robot be able to give birth to a child robot of her own? The idea of a mechanical robot giving birth to a child seems absurd. However, many of the technologies we use today began as outlandish concepts at one point or another. A robot is a machine that resembles a human person, 
and is capable of autonomously replicating some human actions and activities. The majority of us have preconceptions about what a robot is and how it should behave. Our understanding of mechanical machines will develop through time, from purely mechanical devices to hybrid mechanical organic contraptions, primarily alive machines and pure synthetic life forms, with the process of creating machines being superseded by the process of growing them. Artificial intelligence will be phased out in favor of degrees of synthetic intelligence, which will be followed by what many would regard as a better kind of genuine intellect. The biorobotics revolution is about to begin. Biorobotics is generally thought of as the process of using biological organisms as a way to develop new technologies. It is a wide field that covers various things like cybernetics and genetic engineering. The term biot, which means biological robot, is a smart adjective. Several new disciplines are bridging the gap between biology and robotics. Cybernetics, bionics, biomimicry, and synthetic biology are only a few examples. 3D printers will be used to create human tissue, stem cells, and even artificial blood cells in this scenario. Bone, cartilage, muscle, teeth, organs, blood arteries, and even ears may be printed using other 3D manufacturing equipment. Human cloning. With the cloning of Dolly the sheep in 1996, the science of cloning became well known. Hundreds of other animals, including camels, dogs, deer, horses, monkeys, cows, frogs, rabbits, and many others have been closed since then. Human cloning has long been considered a logical outgrowth of animal research, offering an identical genetic clone of any individual. There's a distinction to be made between natural clones and manufactured clones, which appear like identical twins in humans and other species. Gene cloning, reproductive cloning, and therapeutic cloning are the three forms of artificial cloning. Artificial Womb Technology Emanuel Greenberg invented the first artificial womb in 1955, which was more than 60 years ago. Japanese researchers succeeded in nurturing goat babies in a machine containing artificial amniotic fluid for weeks in the mid-1990s. The lowest gestational age for human embryos to survive has been pushed down to less than 22 weeks thanks to recent advances in neonatal intensive care. This is only about halfway through a typical 40-week pregnancy. The technology isn't nearly as far-fetched as it appears. As a replacement organ, an artificial uterus might be used in a variety of ways. Child-Bearing Robots With this quick rundown of some of the most recent developments, the thought of a robot giving birth to a baby, whether a baby human or a baby robot, no longer seems so far-fetched. Now a robot can also celebrate Mother's Day and enjoy motherhood. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.